Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of cancer for the month of March. I am using the Gilded Tarot this month along with one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. I want to remind everyone that this is a general reading so it may not apply to you. If it resonates with you that's great. I'm really happy to be able to provide a monthly reading for you. If it doesn't um, Take from it what you can. You can also contact me to purchase a private reading. I will leave my email at the bottom of the video and um, I will get back to you within 24 hours and typically have the reading out within five days at the very latest. I like to keep it within 48 hours because people, when they're, when they're getting a reading from me, it's not because they're happily in love. It's because there's a crisis or something has happened and they need answers as soon as they can to ease their mind and their anxiety and their worries. Okay, um, what I do is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle till just the one card falls out. Uh, those are clarity cards and jumpers. A little bit about myself. If you are new to my channel, I am clairsentient and clairvoyant. I pick up uh, feelings, emotions, vibes from people. Uh, it's called reading people. It's where I shine. I do my best work. I'm about 90% accurate when it comes up comes to picking someone's uh to reading a person. Okay? So what that means is if that you're wanting to get a private reading regarding your love life, I can pick up the feelings and emotions, I can pick up the person's character, I can pick up why they're behaving that way because of the feelings that they're feeling because all of a sudden I'll feel like I do not want to commit or all of a sudden I will feel like um I'm in totally in love or angry. You know, and that is what's called reading people. All right, so what are the messages for Cancer for the month of March? Cancer for the month of March. Cancer for the month of March. One more shuffle. Cancer for the month of March. What are the messages for Cancer for the month of March? What are the messages for Cancer for the month of March? Cancer for the month of March. I see a card flipped over here. Seven of Wands. Cancer for the month of March. Ten of Wands. Temperance. Cancer for the month of March. Messages for Cancer for the month of March. The Emperor. Cancer for the month of March. for the month of March. What are the messages for cancer? For the month of March. Sometimes it takes a while. Cancer for the month of March. What are the messages for cancer? Finally, Knight of Pentacles. Cancer for the month of March. Oh, look, we have a card that's backwards. Cancer for the month of March. We 
we have the Eight of Cups. Cancer for the month of March. Okay. This one fell to the ground, Seven of Swords. All right, so the very first card we have here is the Seven of Wands. Now, this card signifies holding your ground, standing your ground. This is about challenges, negotiations, anticipation, and um, it suggests holding your ground through tough negotiations. And it's about taking action in regards to a situation. This is also about self-defense and protecting yourself against something. Um, it's also about uh, competition. So I don't know if one of you guys feels like there's competition on the horizon and you have to start negotiating what you want with this person. But it could be a three-way situation, third-party situation, and you feel like you've got to start putting yourself out there. Okay? Next card is the Ten of Wands. So this is what you want. Uh, the Ten of Wands represents stress, exhaustion, too many responsibilities. It's you're carrying a heavy load, a heavy burden, and you want to get past this feeling, um, the situation. It's getting too much for you. Uh, this there's challenges here big time with this situation all right and constantly negotiate negotiating with the person what you want and it's getting you nowhere and you want to get past this all right what do they want they want the temperance so this is about balance harmony self-control moderation they want balance they want harmony and they want to progress slowly but surely, but they can tell this is out of balance and they need that balance. They want that balance back in the relationship. All right, next we have the Emperor. This card signifies what you need. You need structure. Uh, you need a plan. This here is throwing a loop for you. So you're looking for a plan, you're looking for structure, you're looking to move ahead, you're, you want, you know, you need to get over this, this burden here. This relationship is some sort of a burden. So this card is saying that you're looking for some sort of a strategic plan or um, uh, stru or structure in the relationship. Okay, what they need, we have, sorry, yeah, what they need. This is the Knight of Pentacles. And this is someone, they need patience. <laughs> All right? They need someone who's reliable. They need patience perhaps from you. Um, this typically is a, a uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, male or female. Uh, it's a general reading, so we're going to say it's either one or the other. And perhaps um, they or who you're involved with, and they're needing patience from you, all right? They want you to be reliable and there for them. You see all the green around them? There's a lot of growth, and they're looking for growth in this relationship, okay? Then we have how you see them. Here's the Eight of Cups. Uh, Eight of Cups is abandonment, withdrawal, retreat. It's moving on. Uh, there could be some insecurity here. You're worried that they're moving on and turn their back against you and want to move away from this situation. You want to work on it. They want to work on it, but they could be giving you the messages that they want to walk away from this relationship. All right. And how they see you. There's a seven of swords. The seven of swords is theft, betrayal, dishonesty. It's running away. It's divorce. It's a fair all right, so they could see you as being dishonest, loyal. Um, you guys need to talk. There's a lot going on here. All right, and uh, it's a burden that you're carrying. 
This can represent, I believe temperance can represent Sagittarius. I believe that's who Sagittarius is. You can be involved with a Sagittarius. Um, you could also see them as being fearful. This is a card um, where there's fear of something being taken away. So they could be very fearful that you want to leave the situation perhaps. Okay. All right. Now I will let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. What are the messages for cancer for the month of March? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's a really nice card. Um, that's what this is saying here too. You know, work on it. Negotiate. Stand your ground. All right. There you go. That is the reading for all of you cancers out there. I hope you enjoy this reading. I hope it helps you. If you'd like to get a private reading again, email me. I'll send you the information on how to get a reading. And uh, I hope you have a great month. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.